What's up guys, Electrostats here. I just wanted to say that this video was recorded live on twitch.tv slash electrostats and you can follow me there so that you don't miss my live content. And on that note, enjoy the video. When I'm done with all the replays. No, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted stuff again. So, uh, bloody top 19 on expert plus. Oh god damn. Wait, is it... Charlie? Is this your replay? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Squid. That's you? Alright, let's watch this. This is gonna be a good replay? I oh, will see. Oh my. This is... Player height in a nutshell. Point of you're seven feet tall. I thought we were missing. Actually, really, really nice swing balance. If you take a look at the bottom right. So the amount of swing angle is very good. That right hand is uh, extremely pointed towards the uh, the outside, not not as in swing curve, but just as in your the way you're swinging for everything. Your wrist is consistently pointing towards the outside. This is. So interesting, because if you take a look at the bottom left camera, the bottom left camera, you can see how their right hand is always pointed to the right. Like very, very to the right. It's like extremely timing dependent. This map is actually wild. Oh no! Was that the miss? Oh no! What happened here? Did you almost miss that too? Oh no! I'm so sorry. Oh, that was like a massive hilt. Actually helped that pattern quite a lot. Ooh. Don't tell me you have seen that. You missed on the, you missed on the easy part, and you have seen this. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Crazy. <clears throat> Absolutely wild. Well, 
So one thing I actually okay, I usually always point out mistakes, but here I'm I'm gonna actually gonna praise you for something. I really praise you for like staying consistent with how much you're swinging through the whole map, and also how much uh, how much like relaxed you seem whenever you're swinging for these. Are you what VR are you playing on? A, on quest, these swings literally looks like you're playing on index. These look like such index swings, to be honest. You're on- but what the fuck? <laughs> it says quest. Oh wait, I clicked the wrong dude. <laughs> I clicked the wrong dude. Oh well, that makes sense then. That makes a lot of sense. Well, you see? Well, that makes a lot of sense. It does look like index swing. <laughs> All right, so well, I really, I really like how relaxed it seems whenever you're playing this. Like the, the the swings, they're not like super flicky, which I think I think is a trait of uh, of index players. But I I guess it does make sense if you're playing on index. But anyway, uh, very consistent swing, so you're not like a, there's not like a crazy amount of overswing. I on this map specifically, you do have to swing significantly more. I hate this. <laughs> you do have to swing significantly more. To get the full swing because of all the stacks and like the bomb reset and towers and uh, the inverts node, so we do need a lot more swing angle. But um, pretty good. So I could I could go more into like some theory stuff uh, because stacks and towers on the outer lane have something very very interesting. Okay, uh, I'm actually I'm actually gonna try to explain it as good as I can. And hopefully that will help, but it's such a deep mechanic that you you would probably have to like learn it before going back into the map and applying it. This is really hard to apply on this map, alright? But let's try to explain it. So the the way you're playing some of these uh some of these stacks. What the hell? That was the weirdest bullet I've ever seen. Okay, so Imagine this, uh, imagine this, uh, this stack right here. I will show my desktop. Alright, imagine this stack right here, okay? Uh, whenever you're swinging for, let's say, a, a, a stack that is on the outer lane and you're timing dependent, that means that if your wrist is like this, pointed towards the outside, and you're trying to swing downward, alright? Uh, what's gonna happen is these two notes are basically moving forward as you are playing, which means that the timing for this will be different than the timing at which you're gonna hit that second note as well. Which means that if you aim it exactly at the same place, all right? So if you aim both of the notes like a straight line, a straight down line, uh, it's gonna be impossible for you to get the same accuracy. Because that second note will actually move away from that straight line as you're swinging for them. Which means that to swing a stack on the outer lane while pointing your wrist towards the right, you actually have to not swing straight. You have to swing. At, you have to swing them at a slight angle. Okay, that angle is extremely dependent on many factors, such as how fast you're swinging and how how timing dependent you are. So the lo the the lower your timing dependence is, the least angle there will be. And all right, donkey, come on. <laughs> The the least time independent you are, the more you'll have to swing this straight, and the faster you're swinging, the more you'll have to swing this straight as well, because the timing between the two notes is gonna be less and less. Uh, but if you're swinging smoothly, especially on index, then that angle is gonna be a lot bigger. And uh, it works exactly the same way for stack. So it's exactly the same. Uh, sorry for towers. So whenever you're swinging for some of these, uh, some of these like towers, let's take a look. I I think I want this specific section of the map I want. Okay, so let's say this right here. I think that's the perfect example. Okay. Uh, whenever you whenever you're gonna swing for these stacks, you're actually gonna have to swing somewhat like this at a very very slight angle, so that whenever you're swinging for this and this, as you're swinging for them, let's say this note you hit it for 115. All right. This note, as as you're hitting it at a different timing, you will actually the node will actually move into that swing, if that makes sense. You're gonna have to do the same thing on the left, but on the other side. So I, that's terrible line, but I think you understand the point. So there's a very specific way of hitting those stacks, and you have to not hit them straight. If you hit them straight, you're gonna have, like, accuracy that's basically gonna look like everywhere. So, and I think some of the time, especially on that right hand right here, you actually swing 
most of these uh, most of these very very straight. And it works the same way for almost all of these patterns, and I know it's really, really hard to kind of apply this, but... Especially when it's like faster like this, you don't really have time to think about the angle you're giving at the notes, but... Uh, long story short, you have to give an angle to whenever you're, whenever you're playing party stacks unless you're flicking really, really fast. What's up, Apollo? God, redeeming squats. I have a lot of replays to go through. All right. So I think that's pretty much the only thing I noticed here. Uh, this map specifically, I think, requires a lot of like overswing. So I don't think that um, I don't think we can really talk about swing optimization here. But What about those angle stacks? It's somewhat the same idea, but it depends if you're timing dependent. It's only if you have a higher timing dependency on, on these stacks. A higher timing dependent, sorry. If your timing dependence is zero, such as middle lanes, middle row stacks, then you don't have to worry about anything. There is no such thing as hitting them diagonal. You hit everything perfectly straight. <laughs> 